so funny, guys, because I didn't know that I hit live. But it's all good. So, I have been inspired to do a red couch talk. And so, hopefully this will be like an ongoing series and no one better to have as my first guest <laughs> on my red couch talk than Cynthia, my girl Cynthia, because she kind of inspired me to like put it in motion. We were, we met up at church and we're just like talking and having this great conversation and we were talking about the red table talk and then I was like, you know what? I have this red couch and I just imagine like having conversations with my girlfriends on this red couch. And so, boom, it's been like less than two weeks yes. and it's come to life because we were just having that conversation. So. I'm super excited for you guys to meet Cynthia. If you don't already know her, if you know her, you already love her. Hey Rick, hey Donna. Cynthia is amazing. Okay, so Cynthia is an educator, kindergarten guys. So you know what that takes to be a kindergarten teacher, no joke. Especially this year. It's crazy all the time, but can you imagine? doing that virtually or having some in the classroom and some at home this year nuts so she is like has the heart of an angel <laughs> hey sunshine oh Corinne Corinne hey Corinne Hi, Corinne. um so we were talking about several things so there's so many things I want her to touch on because you're gonna love to hear like what she has going on you're gonna love to hear kind of her story and she's an introvert but let me tell you, when she gets started, she has so much energy. Like, she might be sitting here all nice right now, but I'm sure you're going to see her get excited. So, Cynthia, I wanted to, first of all, talk about... Okay, let's, let's rewind. Let's rewind. Hey, Alicia! I'm loving everyone joining us for our red couch talk. We're taking advantage of this red couch here in the background. And so, and then we happen to be wearing red, not planned guys, but it always works out. So I am dying for Cynthia to share kind of probably how we met. It's been what, six, seven years now? Oh my gosh. About six years, yes. So we met through her sister. Her sister's another awesome chica. We met through her sister. Her, me and her sister were working together and then her sister kind of pulled her in, dragged her in pretty much. Literally. She was, she was resistant. <laughs> I was. But now she's like the biggest inspiration. You will see Cynthia on the beach, sometimes doing yoga, sometimes running, sometimes in the water, just loving life. <laughs> and it makes me so jealous every time. I'm like, oh, I wish I woke up early and went to the beach on Sunday. But um, she just does so many things that inspire health and she is inspires so many especially at her school she's inspiring healthy living oh so that's what i want to talk about first because she has been inspired every school she goes to people see her energy which is on high and they see how she's eating and she takes care of herself and she really takes that time you know as a single mom she takes time to like take time for herself and do that self-care which is important and um so people are so inspired so she was telling me something that she's doing this year. And I'm just like, that is so awesome, Cynthia. Like, how encouraging is it that this year with everything going on, you're doing this? So tell us a little bit about what you're doing on, is it on Canvas? Well, okay. So okay. last year, I started being a health coach at my school. So I would bring events. I will have a lot of stuff going on at my school. I would do salad jar. I bought a yoga instructor. I tried to keep everybody involved at my school and then helping them see the benefit of living a healthy and a lifestyle but this year because of covid i can't do that anymore so i've been bringing you know thinking about it a lot and i'm like i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a canvas page so i'm working on it right now and my goal is inside of that canvas page and i'm gonna encourage all of my educator friends to jump on inside of that canvas page and i'm gonna have healthy recipes i'm gonna have different exercise and i also want to have information that and health information inside of the canvas page you know and i'm trying to find a place where people could drop in their stories and i could share my story just make it a little bit interactive but to help my fellow educator see the importance of living a healthy lifestyle like michelle is saying 
with everything that is going on, the first thing that gets jeopardized is our health. Yeah. We want to eat junk. We want to just lay down. We want to fight ourselves in a room. I don't do that. Not that I'm bragging, but I know that's the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I wake up, I go walking. That's the first thing I do every single morning. And that boost up my energy. Yeah. And I'm a very, very healthy eater. When I eat junk, I feel bad. Yeah. But why is that? It's because your body um, crave whatever you want it. Like, I walk with my water jar everywhere I go. If I don't have my water jar, it's like I start coughing. And with COVID, you can't cough because everybody think that you sick. Yes. So, and then that's what I want to encourage. Not just, not just educators, but everyone. Because mm -hmm. the, the healthier you are, the happier you are also. Exactly. Yeah. And then that's why your energy level is so good too. Because starting the day out with, like, moving your body is so crazy. Like, sometimes you feel like, oh, I'm going to be so tired from like getting in a workout before I actually go and start my day, but you will not believe how much more energy you're gonna get. I agree, 100%. During the day, because you work out. So, you know, the days that I don't work out in the morning, I know I feel a little bit more sluggish than I would if I did get my body moving. So isn't that incredible that she's like, probably super overwhelmed. I know the teacher, you guys, you educators, I just like, thank you from the bottom of my heart because I know it's not easy. And this year has been so challenging, but with everything she has going on, single mom, taking care of her kids and a classroom of kids, and is still pouring into others, her, her colleagues, by creating this. And I think that's just huge. And I think it's so timely too, though, because, you know, the more that our educators can put into themselves and mm -hmm. feel better and healthier and learn these tools, the better they can be for our children, right? And even for their kids and their families. So thank you, thank you for that. I was so, I was like, that is so awesome. I'm working on it, so it should be coming <laughs> soon, but I'm so, I'm so excited about it. I am like, I feel, I feel great all the time. And at work, everybody's like, what are you on? <laughs> like it's two o'clock in the afternoon and then dismissal time, the teachers are like, oh, and then this is me going, going, going. They're like, sit here, relax, relax. What are you on? Give me some of what you have. I'm like, listen, I'm living my best life. I really am. You know, I stay active. I eat healthy. I'm a very, very happy person. And then I just share it with the world. I, that's, that's the bottom line. I just share it with the world. Her light definitely shines. And then we also have our, our secret weapons too, where we have like whole food nutrition, concentrated whole food nutrition we take every day. And I know that helps tremendously in like how we feel too. It's kind of like getting that workout in the morning. If you didn't, you feel kind of sluggish. I know if I miss a day of getting my whole food supplements, I feel sluggish. I definitely feel it around noon. And I'm like, did I take? And I'm like, oh, I missed it. So I have to take it. But that is just like fueling your body with the right nutrients definitely. that you need to like go throughout your day where she can still feel like high energy at two. In my 20s, I used to want to pass out around 1 o'clock, right? <laughs> I used to be tired. And I was in my 20s. Now we're in our 40s. I'm in my 40s. Me too. Right. <laughs> She's in her 40s. But believe can it or you not. believe we have this kind of energy? Energy. Energy. Yes, Incredible. So I'm going to take it back a little bit because what, how me and Cynthia connected is through her sister Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy, if you're watching, I, I think I saw your cousin, um, no, your sister-in-law, Jomeen, watching. Yes. Um, hey, Alicia. Hey, hey, Vileen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Vileen. She's hilarious. Went to high school with her. She's so funny. Um, we met because her sister, but her son, her sister's son was having like a health crisis. He was a baby at the time and she was looking for a way to help supplement his diet and just do anything to help him be healthier. And so when she heard of the tools that I use, which is the whole food nutrition I was just talking about, supplements, and then even we have a vegan shake, which is amazing. Um, she started on it with her son and what happened with them was incredible. Then what happened, her sister is so smart because her sister was like, we're all doing this. So she signed her sister up the same day she got hers. And what happened with Cynthia and her children is incredible. And then to take it another notch, what happened with Cynthia's mom, their mom is even more incredible. So I don't know, do you want to, I always um. ask her to share <laughs> and she's like, 
but it's incredible to hear. And she says it the best because, you know, she gets excited. So, okay, I'm turning it over. Uh, so, yes, it's been maybe six or seven years because now my nephew is eight years old. So he was a baby when um, my sister went to Michelle and he explained the health crisis. And then Dorothy was like, Cynthia, this is amazing. Whether you want it or not, we are all doing it. So my sister, her, at that time she had one son. Me, my two kids, my mom, like, we all started on this product. Once again, like Michelle is telling you, it's a whole food nutrition. So it's like eating like 20, 30 fruits and vegetables the whole day. Can you imagine what it does to your body? It has done wonders for my whole family. So of course, my nephew, who was super sick, now he's Mr. Little Athlete, super healthy, super active. Then of course, my sister got a baby girl after that, and then this, She's a ball of fire, extremely, extremely healthy. My brother-in-law says um, she could eat dirt and she'll still be okay. <laughs> She's good. Personally, I'm, I was always very active, but I was not a good eater. But now I eat extremely healthy. I have more energy. My recovery after my work, work, workouts are better. I used to have adult acne. My daughter used to say, oh, mommy, we can play tic-tac-toe in your face. Well, not anymore. <laughs> It is smooth. Smooth. I used to have and adult acne too. I always yeah. forget that. And yeah. that disappeared also when I started. And and of course, what we don't like to talk about is constipation. That was me and now it's it's all gone. So uh, I'm very grateful for this product, for what it has done for me, for my family. My son, forget it, my son was pre-diabetic. Now my son is like, not because he's my son, but he's the most handsome kid. <laughs> Healthy and fit and he's everything. Rico Suave guy. That's what he, exactly. He, that's he's, my a, he's handsome. He's charming. Like he has it going on. And he looks exactly like me, so that helps. <laughs> like that's my twin. So and the crazy thing, so her son Christian was featured when we did the family. Like we were featuring kids that have like transformed their health, and I was featuring that all throughout the month of September. Yes. And so Christian has been someone I featured several times because his story is incredible. Christian, when he first started, he was what, 10? 10 years old. When yeah. he first started on our whole food nutrition, he was 10, he was pre-diabetic, he was overweight, and she was at her wit's end. And within months, how many months, months was it? Like four months. Four months, they went four back months. to the endocrinologist. And she said, mom, was, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, it's working. And I remember that day, I, I was like, what am I doing different? Like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing different. And of course, my sister's my bestie. So I'm calling my sister, Diane, Diane, Diane. I'm like, it's those whole for nutrition and it's working. Like, she must be like, what? Uh, yeah, my sister's like, Cynthia, come down. Relax. <laughs> Relax, what are you talking Dor about? Dorothy's the calm one. Yeah, she keeps She's me. the excited one. She levels it's me so up. funny. Yeah. And then my mom, my mom, she was, oh. she had, um, fibroids and I remember she was getting ready to have an operation and my sister said mom why don't you take this ser seriously for four months please and she did and then the doctor told my mom remind me again what I gave you my mom's like nothing <laughs> she's like because it shrunk so drastically that she didn't have to get operated anymore mm -hmm. so that was that was amazing this is, I call that just the power of nutrition you I know mean, their yeah. entire family Exactly. Yeah. She didn't even touch on what happened to her nephew. Then what happened with her sister, while she ended up having another baby, she got super sexy. Because <laughs> she, when she start, her sister started on it, yeah. then um, she wasn't as stressed with her son, who had a lot of no health issues. issues. Like he had croup, he had pneumonia, he had all these things. It was constant. And um, they, they started on it. His he got healthier, so he wasn't sick all the time, so she was less stressed, and I feel that because that used to be me. My son was like that. I was stressed all the time because he was always sick. And then we started on the whole food supplements, and thank goodness, things started to change. And then um, even cravings for the foods. Like, I know for me and for Cynthia, what we crave now is different too. Like, Definitely. we crave healthier foods. Now, yeah, we still eat treats every once in a while, but it's not like, I used to crave chocolate every night. Me too. Every night I used to crave chocolate. Listen, as a teacher, I used to run to the teacher's classroom, knock on the door, you know I want some chocolate, it's my chocolate yes. time. And then teachers used to just save jars and jars of chocolate saying, oh, you know this crazy little son's gonna come here and ask for chocolate. 
And then when I started to eat better, and then when they would start, they're like, oh, you think you're better than us now? You're not <laughs> you eating don't chocolate? Eat our chocolate I'm like, I don't crave for it anymore, you know? Your body, your body literally crave what you give it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I can definitely say it has been true for me. Oh, oh, Valerie. Some, no. Valerie's my old boss, but she's also my friend. She's messaging me, so we thought it was some. But hey, oh, Christian. So Alicia's here commenting. Alicia has a son named Christian, Christian who has also had an amazing transformation, transformation. too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I was on live with Alicia yesterday, but her son, amazing. He's also probably 16, 16 or 17, believe, 16. Yeah. And what happened with him within a few months, he lost like how many pounds, 20 or 30 pounds in a few months. And then his grades went up because he was able to focus better and just incredible. The stories we get to hear. It's so amazing. I get to do life with Cynthia. I'm always talking about our community and just like the p- amazing people that we're surrounded by. Cynthia is one of them. There's, and we love getting together. That's it. Tomorrow <laughs> we're getting together for a oh, small yes. gathering and we're making these um, like home decor boards that you would find in like home goods. There's a place here that you can go and make them so you can make your own personalized boards. And we're doing that as a fun, like team building activity. And we're excited because it's just like a, a nice way to get together during the holidays. But these are the kind of things that we do as a community. And I'm so grateful for Cynthia because her entire family has just, we share their stories. It's in, so incredible and it's so inspiring to see the power of what can happen when you're fueling your body with the right things. And I see Alicia is commenting. And I'm grateful for Michelle because if it wasn't Michelle, I don't know where my life would be right now. It's so funny because my sister and I, even with my kids, I say, where would our life be if we were not fueling our body? My son would be like, Ma, you're not even funny. <laughs> don't Ma, even don't even go there. And my sister and I, when we talk about it, it's like, I don't know. And in the changes, it's not just the health changes, like the personal growth that yeah goes through you know when you are surrounded that people that want to do better that are doing better you want to do better and I've seen that like before that I wasn't much of a reader now I'm constantly rereading like the stuff that I'm doing now always sharing what books we're reading like she's like I'm reading this book and I'm like oh I'm reading this book so we're like oh I gotta get that one it's amazing it's amazing like when I think about my life now and six years from now Wow, if I continued life the way I was going, I don't know where would my life be right now. I would probably been 200 pounds oh away. Yeah. And she used to work out like crazy, but she'd never know. Like, she was like, why isn't the weight coming off? Yeah. And then just from adding all that nutrition from fruits and vegetables, she started to notice things. You, you got leaner. Yeah, I, you, you get leaner. Your, your body knows what to do with it, it knows how to get rid of the toxins. And you're glowing, sitting. like, I feel like I'm always glowing. Like, I yeah. like I tell people, I love me some me. I'm like, look at me, Girl. I'm so gorgeous. Confidence, <laughs> confidence, I'm like, let me, I don't know, that word is probably like, anyone who's in a millennial is like, that's so played out, but her comp, let me tell you, I see it all the time too, because yeah. you feel good, and then it comes out, you feel more confident, it's just incredible, all the things that happen, and I have to say, like, our community, this year has been crazy, and, like, it's been a roller coaster, right, do we even still know who's, I don't even know who the president is at this point, but it's just so crazy, every day, it's almost like, what is next, mm-hmm. but one thing I feel like has brought, like, kept us sane is our community, like, we have each other, yes. it's like, the glue we we we're all been positive and healthy and happy and we know there's a lot going out there and our heart goes to, out to all the people that have just had a hard tragic year but we we just want you to know that there is hope and yes. if you're looking for something to be a part of and to help others and to serve others in a way that is just priceless that's it right there <laughs> it's right here seriously it really is. right here on this red couch <laughs> <laughs> no, oh I'm sure gosh. Michelle told you, like, I'm a red couch fanatic. My I sister forgot. introduced me to that. And then the episode that really got me, it's when Will Smith, did, when all, when the whole family, when they did the blood test, and then so after good. that, all the results came in, and how they were so shocked that they all had stomach issues and that stuff issue, like that. Yes. And then they brought Dr. Mark, and then he made, and I'm following him now, too. Hi, Mike. Like, mm-hmm. Yes, it's. So amazing good. it's amazing and i'm like oh i am hooked if you've never watched red table talk with jada pinkett you're gonna go want to go watch that episode look it up 
do Red Table Talk, mm -hmm. Mark Hyman. Oh my gosh. Amazing. You'll be amazed. Yeah. At, like, Will Smith was wondering, why do I feel like this? Like, because, you know, he hit his 50s and he was really taking a look at his health because he said he used to just eat anything. Mm -hmm. He's lucky. He's one of the lucky people that can eat anything and still look amazing, right? He could still play action heroes. But at 50, it really hit him. So that episode was really it good. Got me I hooked. did, it got I did me watch hooked. that episode. It and got me hooked. I got to get back to watching because they have some really good deep conversations. Yeah. And so that's what we're going to do here on the Red Couch Talk too. That's we're going to have some <laughs> conversations. Did I miss anything? Because I just really wanted you guys to know how awesome Cynthia is. Aww. Cynthia is incredible. <laughs> so is her sister Dorothy, which I don't get to see her enough, honestly. She's a sports mom and been busy like yes. me. And she works full time. What is she? Um... She is a, a respiratory, therapist. respiratory therapist, so you know her life is probably to the next level this year because yeah. as a respiratory therapy um, therapist with everything happening. So just grateful for them and the fact that they said yes to this crazy girl because I know I seem like I'm crazy when you <laughs> don't really know me, but I'm telling you, I'm, our, my goal is to help as many people feel as happy and um, just See that there's something out there where you can have like a different quality of life you can start to like cynthia said pour into yourself some more definitely improve yourself and guess what happens when you improve yourself you become better for the people around, around you right you. oh my goodness and you attract people like oh like michelle and i like she's saying like it's like we attracted each other like we are so close and we are similar in so many ways Everyone you know, loves really, Cynthia. Trust everybody me. Everybody loves Michelle. Oh my gosh. All the yeah. teachers love her. Like our team, they love some Cynthia. Cynthia is a trip. And it's just because we're admitting that yeah. that positivity, positivity and yeah. happiness and so many people are looking for that. So we want to help more people feel Definitely. the way that we do. Yes. So this has been good. I want to make sure I touch our, let me see if there's any questions. Alicia's answering about her son. It was 30 pounds. I thought it was because my husband had also lost 30 pounds too. So I wasn't sure if I was thinking of him, but both of our, my husband and Alicia's son, a teenager lost 30 pounds wow. starting on this nutrition. Like that's incredible. It changes things. Hey, there's a Mary watching. Hey, Mary Johnson. Kristen is amazing. Yes. Hey, cutie. That's my cousin. Hey, Alicia. Oh, hey, Jasmine. Oh, my goodness. I miss you, Jazz. <laughs> Jasmine's um, one of my moms from kindergarten. Our kids are the same age. Oh, sorry, guys. I had my big finger over the thing. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Marvin. It's my nephew, Jomeen. Hi, Jomeen. Hey, Jomeen. Any Nina. questions? Hey, Nina. We're going to see Nina tomorrow. tomorrow. She's doing boards yes. with us. Yes. Red tent, red table, and now the red couch. Yes, Nina. <laughs> okay. Anyone have anything for Cynthia? Just lift her up in prayer, guys. Come on. She's an educator. <laughs> Kindergarten. Virtual and in person. Come on. <laughs> Let's say a prayer for Cynthia. And um, I know she's going to continue to be amazing because she just... She is. She I love really what is. I do. I really do. I love teaching. I love young children. And I love sharing the benefits of living a healthy lifestyle. So to me, those are my two loves. So I enjoy doing it. I work full time as a teacher. And then I do this on the side. And I love it, love it, love it. And I, you know, one person at a time. One person at a time. You can only do that. Change one life at a time. But yeah. if I can ch um, change one person's life, I'm very excited. I'm, exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. And that's my goal. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank we're going to say good night. But thank you for being my first yes. guest <laughs> on the Red Couch Talk, guys. We're going to try and keep this going. All right. So have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.